So we've cut the board to the right size for our painting that we're framing today. We're now just sanding it so that the glue will stick to a roughened surface. We're going to use wood PVA glue today to stick the canvas to the board. We ran out of spray glue. The painting we're framing today is The Creator's Hand by Dale, Dale Crosley as a gift for my dad for his birthday. Taking measurements for the side pieces. <laughs> Make sure you cut it the right way this time. Yeah. Got enough paste. He's just setting up the skill saw for the right angle. up with the edges we put it right up against the edge of the diamond and cover the white part of the the extra canvas part now he's going to cut the angle at the other end to make the corners We seal these afterwards, so we seal the whole thing. Mm -hmm. 
to have stopped up cutting last time. You can see my thumb now. Oh, that's right. So that's the top and bottom piece done. Nothing's stuck down, so we can always pull them up if they're in the wrong spot. We make sure everything is the right length first, then we glue it down when we know it's perfect. Trust the tape measure. Some people can, no I can't. One would think to stuff it up. So he's just marked to the other corner. Now he's gonna cut it. Sorry about the noise of the skill saw. Are you the the jigsaw, whatever it is, I don't drop, know. Drop saw. Drop saw, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Just not on your feet, eh? Oh, there's been a couple of times. <laughs> I do need to get a new blade for it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's now three sides cut, measured, and made to fit. There's different ways of doing it. This is just my way.
Did you have to trim a little bit off? Yeah, I, um, when I set the 45, I set it just a little bit too much yep. further. There's a bit of a gap there. But... Handmade gifts are never perfect. Unless you're a perfectionist. Unless you've got the right tools and stuff. <clears throat> Just measuring the last side now. Gonna put some extra stain on the edges. Don't ask what sort of stain it is. It's just stuff that we got for free from the tip. Mm -hmm. Jess, don't. stain of wood. Won't take long to dry, it's a nice sunny day here today. He's been sitting on the garage roof, ceiling for a little mm. bit, <laughs> covered in dust. dust and everything. Yeah. These are the bits that you stained last time. Yeah. And I recorded a time lapse of me doing them. Hopefully people can't see the no. dog left no. over. You don't necessarily have to stain the bottom of them. You can if you want, but we don't. Just leave the top of it stained and the bottom there. Yeah. And then it's time for a cigarette while they dry. Yep. Smoke time. Yep, I'm just going to pause the video and we'll be back soon. Are we on? Mm hmm. It's not glued. 
down yet. All I'm doing is marking my corners. That way. It takes out a whole lot. I'm going to make sure the canvas is nice and straight and tight so it doesn't bubble when you um, glue it down as well. No, just marking where the canvas sits. Yeah. If we had this issue where it would... Uh, yeah. Happen. We couldn't line it up the last time we tried to record a framing video. Make Sorry about the lighting, we're doing this on the deck and there's a lot of shadowing. I'm doing it on the deck because um, you've got to roll it. Yeah. So as I said, we're going to use PVA glue. Glue the board first. If you're using spray glue, you put spray glue on now. You just pour the glue on and then brush it. This is the first time we're using PVA glue, but it should work the same. Make sure your brush is slightly damp. Are you having to be in the video too, are you Jess? Jess has come over to help Uncle do some framing. As long as she doesn't walk in the glue, we should be okay. You probably use one of those hobby rollers. Yeah. And there's nook and cranny rollers. Mm. That might get a nicer job. Can I help you? Somebody has to be nosy and make her appearance in the video. I was surprised midnight went inside and instead of coming over. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows what pets are like, it's alright. Probably book this out a bit of coat, uh, newspaper or something underneath if you really want, but... So you make sure you cover the whole board, because the glue will also help to stick down the sides of the frame. Make sure you get every lump out. Yeah, because the lumps will show through if you don't. Just the same as normal painting. Start setting the sun a little bit. See, so dampen the paintbrush makes it easier to spread the glue out. And now you can see the dog rolling around on the grass. <coughs> She's going to be YouTube famous.
Okay, down about three or four inches a little bit. Stay there. Don't move. Don't look at my bum, guys. Sorry. Didn't think that, that through, did we? No. Once it's on the glue, you roll it down. This is a two person job. Make sure you put it down slowly so you get no bumps. Now I can move so they don't see my bum anymore. Now it's your job. <coughs> to roll it. Yeah. Yep. I'll get you some drink while you're doing that. Yeah. So you roll it again, make sure it's really stuck down this also helps to push down any diamonds that may have popped up in the process camera angles so you know I'll just bring you to there yep that should be good thank you still done yeah it's still all done. done still going yeah still going Now we're going to put a little bit of extra glue along the edges to make sure that the edges of the frame stick down. So you put it on the canvas and on the board. And brush it again. Trying to avoid getting it on the edge of the diamonds. This will also be sealed afterwards as well so just move <laughs> so some people cut off the legend and the outside of the canvas when they frame but we don't because we cover it up anyway you won't see it when it's finished So you stick it down, put a little bit of pressure on it, 
fixed. Doctor was one of the other ones. It looks better. So that's three sides. I know you can't see the top side at the moment because of the shadowing, but I'll show you their completed product when it's done. Right. You can show people that. Okay, sorry if I make anyone seasick. I am just moving the camera. Okay, so that is what they look like just temporarily down. And if your husband does fishing, Contiki battery is a good weight. So we're just going to weigh it down a bit on the corners. Just to make sure it fully sets. I've got one Contiki battery on every corner. This video is not showing off how sparkly this diamond painting is. Okay, the batteries aren't that heavy, but they'll do the job. Just for those long lengths. I'll leave it to sit for a few hours, I suppose. So that's partly completed. After it's all set down, we will seal it and then it's done. And that's our framing process. Thank you very much.